I'm Simona and this is Wax of Italy. Since antiquity, Rome is known as La Regina dell'Acqua, the Queen of Water, and for a good reason. Think of all of the great aqueducts, the many fountains, the bathhouses throughout the city. And get to hear, nothing has changed. If you stroll around the city of Rome today, in fact, you'll encounter thousands of fountains, both for decorational purposes and to give us drinkable water. It's so important to us that there is even an app you can download before coming to Rome that gives you a map with all of the potable water fountains. So let's go find some. And here we are in one of the most iconic squares of Rome. We are by the Spanish Steps. Behind me, La Barcaccia. Literally, this fountain is called the Ugly Boat. It looks like a marble sunken boat. It was designed in the 17th century by the Berninis. And yes, that's potable water. Let's fill up our bottle. Fountain. This gorgeous spot, I'm sure you'll come and pay a visit here to touch your coins. But the water behind me, it's no potable water. Although if you're thirsty and you don't want to spend two euros on a bottle of water around here, there is a spout of clean potable water on the steps of the fountain. Let's go. find out whether the water is good to drink, simply use your common sense. If the water spout is reachable, then fill up your bottle. Well, in front of another very famous monument of Rome, the Colosseum, we have more fountains to check out. So let's go. We are in Via de Fori Imperiali, right across from the Colosseum. I found a very fantastic fountain. I couldn't think of a better way to recycle a sarcophagus, an ancient Roman tomb, sign of death. We gave life back to this object through water, life itself. Portable, clean, fresh, let's have some. And after all this monumental fountain, let's go see a real museum. We found it. We are by the ancient city. This is one of the oldest iron fountain. We have this since 1870 and we call this Nazone. Look at the spout. It's like a big nose. That's what it means. It is actually a dragon head and we have three of those. Well, since 1870, this fountain is giving us cool, refreshing and clean water. We checked the actual water of this Nazone, 2,500 of those, about 250,000 times a year. So it's clean, it's safe. When you come to Rome, bring an empty bottle and always try some. Now we are heading to the Aventine Hill and we're going to see another special Nazone and we'll find out why. And here we are on the Aventine Hill. We made it. We are at Giardino degli Aranci, literally the garden of the orange trees. If you make it up here, I promise you one of the most stunning views of the city. And even up here, look what I found. Another fountain of drinkable, potable water. This is actually one of the rarest because it's the one in Travertine. What's special about it? The spout, the she-wolf, the most symbolic mother of all of the ancient Romans and the Romans today, still giving us clean water. I don't even need a bottle, look. Perfect. Well, let's go outside. I have another two examples of fountain to show you. Let's go. And as promised, just outside of the garden, more fountain. But this 
This is the king of all of the Nazoni, the big noses. See? This is called Mayor's Water, because it's free. It's for all of us. And let's check out the second one. I'm sitting on an ancient Roman bath, straight out of a spa, recycled again to be one of our beautiful decorative fountains, combined with a 16th century mask. But this, unlike the previous ones, it's not potable water. But you see, Rome is full of fountains, water everywhere. Rome is truly the queen of water. So next time you come to Rome, make sure you download your app, you have an empty bottle, and you enjoy our fresh, clean, and free water. I'll see you soon with Walks of Italy.